from Ukraine. I had a hard time adjusting uh, to the culture, adjusting to the food. I had a hard time leaving behind my friends. And all of these things together made this big role of change that I had to go through. Being young, uneducated, very silly child, I turned to drugs. They made me feel like I was a better person, I was a better friend, better student, and so did every, everyone thought the same. Because we didn't know that I was using drugs to make me feel better. Now, let me tell you the same story, but specify the drug. When I was a freshman, my brother gave me a phone. It was a Samsung flip phone. Being young, an educated, silly child who was going through difficult time and change, I turned to my phone and locked myself in my phone to help me go through different stages of my life as they were coming. Does it sound interesting when I address a phone as a drug? It may it, make, it makes a bit of difference in our heads. We think that phone and drugs are way too different to compare. But in reality, they share a lot of similar, if not the same symptoms. Many of us, or many people who are addicted, don't even know they are addicted until they try to part ways with the drug or pipe part ways with the phone. Similarly, it was with me. I realized that I am addicted to my phone when I try to stop using it as much. I was going through withdrawal just like you would with a drug. I felt bored when I didn't have my phone around. I didn't know what to do with my, with my hands. When I would stand in line, I would just feel very awkward. Do you feel the same ever? Or for example, when you're meeting with a friend that you haven't talked to for a long time, and let, let's say you're sitting at the restaurant, do you notice that you put a phone you as a barrier and that somehow makes you feel sheltered and and by yourself in your own little bubble and the phone makes you feel like you're separated from the person who's in front of you I find that very interesting according to the trusted guide to mental health Warning signs of smartphone addiction are symptoms like restlessness, anger, irritability, difficulty concentrating, sleep problems, and craving access to your phone or device. I've experienced a lot of these when I was trying to leave my usage of my phone in my past. Mm. And then I thought about the why. Why do I feel so attached to my phone? And I came across a few reasons, one of which I already mentioned, which is probably the biggest one. Our phones make us feel safe, which is the reason why I turned to the phone in the first place. I was going through a rough time, and my phone made me feel like I was in my own space. I had something with me that I could always turn to. When I was anxious, I would just hold the phone. When I am nervous, 
I'm holding it though. It makes you feel like you're almost like you're with someone. When you're lonely, what do you do? Facebook? Instagram? Pinterest? Google? You browse inspirational items? You text a friend? You check out pictures, memories? When you feel awkward, you turn to your phone and you just try to tune in into your own world instead of paying attention to those people who are around you. I was looking into some statistics from 2017, and over two and a half million people in the U.S. are involved in boat accidents each year. The population of U.S. is just a little over 318 million in the total. At this rate, if we were to think about it, American people could be extinct in two <laughs> human lifespans. Just two. Almost 70% of all accidents are because of fun. We hold it in our hands so much. And when I realized I, I could be addicted, I attempted to limit the usage of my phone and failed many times. And keep on failing, this is still a problem. This only confirmed the fact that I am addicted, right? Because when people are not able to leave something behind, that means they're, they're used to it, they need it in their life. According to King Online University, people touch their phones on the average of 2,617 times per day. Now that I am aware of my addiction, and maybe <coughs> some of you came to this knowledge today, I am a little bit concerned about my, about my future as a mother. If phone and drugs are almost on the same shelf, would I, as a mom, hand to my children a drug? Would you? It's an interesting perspective to put yourself into. Maybe one day that will be a topic for my next